Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about transistor outputs and probably more importantly, what it means when you have a floating common on transistor outputs. So first, just so we understand what I'm talking about here, I'm going to take the CM0 minus off of our output module. And you see right now we have no outputs on, but when I unplug it, you get a little bit of a glow out of the green light and the blue light. And you can see if I just touch that to it, it blinks. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video is what causes it and how to solve it. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. And any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. So if you have one of our trainers, it comes with a getting started wiring diagram that goes through just real basic, let's get started type wiring. And if you have it done correctly, in fact, let me plug this wire back in. If you have it done correctly, when you press the green button, the green light comes on. If you press the yellow button, the yellow light comes on. If you press the red button, the red light will come on. If you press the blue button, the blue light will come on. And then if you switch switch one, it'll sequence through them. And that just means that you have it wired right and yeah, your PLC operates. So what I have happen a lot of times, and probably more so out of people that have a little more experience wiring, is they leave this common off because they're looking at the wiring diagram and yeah, it doesn't look like the common does anything. So it just doesn't jump out at them. But so we take that loose and now we can see our green lights glowing a little bit. Now watch the blue light though, when I press the green button it got a little brighter and actually the red light come on. In fact, hold on, let me go turn the lights off here. All right, that, now you can see what we're doing. All right, so now especially this green light, which I'll just stick my hand over as you see, this green light right here, I mean, it looks on. And the blue light, I mean, you could argue that it's on. But now watch, one watch, I'm gonna press the green button here. Watch how intense the green light gets. I mean, now it is on. But also notice the blue light, it gets brighter and the red light starts to light up. And if I press the yellow light, watch the blue light, it gets much brighter. And we can press all of them. You see that changes the others. Okay, let me go turn the lights back on. But yeah, I get calls from people. Um, well, one of our traders, they're like, yeah, I got it wired up, but I've got some bad outputs because some of them are staying illuminated and some of them are just dim. And if you switch this, switch one, then they're like the green lights always on. And yeah, I mean, they're completely confused. Now what's really scary is sometimes I go out and I find machines that are like this. And as long as it's a load that takes quite a bit to energize, such as, you know, a solenoid or a contactor, they can actually run like this and you'll, you'll have an indicator light that kind of glows all the time. And they'll be like, oh yeah, that's just a little feedback. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's, that's a big worry. So when you look, actually let's start, let's look at this micro 850. We have our power and then we have COM0 plus and then two outputs and then we have COM0 minus and then we have COM1 plus and we have some outputs and then we have COM minus. And a lot of people think, well, you only hook up one of them depending on whether it's syncing or sourcing. Well, no. In this case, all of these outputs are sourcing on this PLC. And the same thing on our Micro 820. So right here we have COM zero plus, and then we have the four outputs we're using. And then we have the COM zero minus where I took this wire off that normally would go to the minus your power supply. Now let's talk about what's actually going on here. Because when I'm drawing outputs and we're talking about wiring, this is typically what I draw. So I usually show a common and then I show little switches in here. And I tell you usually, now there's not actually switches in here. There's actually little transistors and everything. But for the purpose of us understanding how to wire to get a motor running, this works great. But this, is what it actually looks like. Instead of these switches, we actually have these electronic components, which includes transistors and some other things. But mainly, here's the COM plus that we were talking about, which goes to the plus of our power supply. Here's the COM minus, 
which goes to the minus upper power supply. And then there are our four outputs, which are wired to our lights. The other side of our lights go to the minus of our power supply. But inside, there's actually these little gates right here, which go to the logic circuit, and this is an electronics lesson, so I'm not gonna go deep into it. But mainly this gate right here allows current to flow to turn on our output. But also right on the other side of here, in what seems like a really simple thing, you have a diode that goes on to that COM minus. And so each one of these transistors has that same diode. Oops, I missed that one. That one should go right there. And what these do is bleed off what's called leakage current. So these are not perfect. So when they are powered, obviously they're flowing current. But when they're not powered, they do leak a little bit. And so what this diode does is it takes that leakage current and drains it to the zero volt of the power supply. So if all of these were off, you would have a small amount of current going through these on out to our power supply. Now what happens if we take loose this COM minus wire, or just don't connect it. Now that leakage current still is leaking, it has to go somewhere. So instead of going through here, it ends up going out the output wires. And it's just a very minor amount of current, and usually, and then this is a small amount. It may not be enough to power a big motor starter or a solenoid or an actual load but it is enough to light these lights up. So that's what you'll see if this COM minus isn't there, is that leakage current going out of these. Also, another thing you'll see a lot of times is maybe you switch something on and for a split second, another solenoid will turn on. And that's the same thing. It usually has to do with this COM minus wire missing. So I hope this helps kind of clear up what that COM minus wire does and why it's important. And that, no, this is not a way to choose syncing and sourcing wiring. It is important that both the plus and the minus are connected on the power supply when you're using this type of output. Again, please take a moment to hit that like button on this video. I hope it was helpful. Any questions that come up, feel free to put them down in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And you two thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.